Good evening, my name is Jay with another Kodi video. Tonight I'm going to show you how to change the advanced settings within Kodi, uh, specifically the buffering settings. What I use this for specifically is uh, with my slow internet, slow internet downloads. Um, it has, if I'm watching a live stream, I do have the odd time where it buffers and it does get a bit annoying so what I'm going to do is show you how I have it set up um, for slow internet download speeds. Now if you have seen my previous video on downloading the tvaddons.ag uh, programs um, this is what you will need to look at before attempting this because it does require you to have some of those add-ons installed. So if you have followed that video, then you're ready to go. If you haven't, the link to my video is in the description below. So let's get started. First, clicking on Programs. Then you'll have the add-on installer add-on there. Clicking on that. Program add-ons. And what you need to be downloading is this easy advanced settings add-on here in the middle. Clicking on that, clicking install, click the install button, wait a few seconds for that to download. And there it is, it is now installed. So to access that add-on we're going back to programs add-ons and you'll now see it listed in there. So clicking on that. Uh, this is the program, so first of all, we are going to edit settings and we are going into the network settings. So currently, as you can see, um, we've got nothing enabled here, which is fine. Going into network again, and we're going to be editing uh, these last three settings here. So I'll, I'll touch on uh, the cache mem buffer size um, next, but I'll, I'll look at this one first. So you've got buffer mode. So this is a, a value between zero and three. Now I will post a link in the description which outlines details on uh, all of these different um, options within buffer mode. Um, basically it allows you to buffer specific content. Um, we're going to be going with option two, which is internet only content. So anything that um, has, is streaming via the web, via different um, protocol, internet protocols like HTTP and FTP and that sort of stuff. So two is what I use. I don't need to buffer local content. Um, again, that's something that you might want to muck around with if you're playing large content over a Wi-Fi network internally. Maybe you do have some buffering issues with that. Um, for me, I do watch everything locally on this machine, so I don't need to buffer local content. It's only internet content. So buffer mode two is what I need. Read buffer factor. What this is in a nutshell is how much of your computer's resources it uses or how much of your internet bandwidth it uses. Default value for this is a 1. Um, I don't have the exact figures on, on the percentages it uses with a default value of 1. Um, again this is something that you, you might want to play around with um, for those of you that do have faster internet connections connections that are doing other things, you've got other people on your network, you don't want to be hogging all the bandwidth, um, you might want to muck around with these values. Um, basically, um, the value that I use um, is the value of 20. From what I've found, using 20 does use all of my download bandwidth, so um, it, it's a good figure. If you're the only one on the network, you're trying to watch a TV show or, or a movie streaming online, then this is the value for you.
Okay, so we'll just uh, enter that value there. Now, cache memory buffer size. Now, this one um, is more about um, how much available resource you have on your local machine. Um, so if you're running it off a, a Windows desktop or a Mac uh, or a server or something, something a PC, not, not one of those little Android boxes, um, you can then, of course, increase this um, depending on how much resource you want to be using. Are you going to be doing other things with your PC when you're streaming and that sort of stuff. So uh, this video I'm doing now, I'm actually recording uh, from my Mac book air um, which is you know it's not not a powerful machine it's just a, a small thin laptop um, so it doesn't have uh, the, the memory and the, and the CPU of a, of a desktop so I'm not going to increase this too much um, this uh, if, you, if you jump back and I'll show you the, the, the quick stats on my uh, on my machine so we can work out a figure to use so if I click home click on system and then system info this now shows um, my hardware so as you can see there I've got um, i5 1.8 gigahertz CPU your CPU usage at the bottom there is quite low so it's not, not that important memory usage is very high I have available memory of 310 or 309 megabytes remaining which is quite low um, so for this, um, I'm going to only increase my uh, cache buffer value by 100 meg. I don't want to overflow the uh, the system there. So back into programs, easy advanced settings. Now, cache memory buffer size is a value entered in bytes. So to work this out, um, I, again I've put a link in the description for a nice little conversion tool. You can type in megabytes and it spits out the byte value because um, it's not easy to work out in your head um, unless you're some sort of maths genius. But um, let's jump into that page now. This is the conversion tool, so I said I wanted 100 megabytes. So you want to be grabbing the byte value here. So highlighting that, copying that, jumping back into Kodi, you can just paste that straight in. So that is 100 megabytes in the in bytes, basically. So I'll throw that in there. They're the three values that are needed to be uh, to be edited to change the uh, buffering of Kodi. So once those are entered, we now need to create um, the XML file. So we go back to the main screen of Easy Advanced Settings and we write XML file. There it is, Easy Advanced Settings file created. Good to go. So that is all done. My next suggestion would be to restart Kodi um, just to make sure those settings are good to go. That is all that's needed to increase your buffer. I hope this video has been uh, a help to you. Uh, if you do have any questions, please post in the comments below. If you like the video, please click like and I would love it if you'd subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.